Hey everyone, it's Carla here, and I have a rack to share with you. I received um, a gift certificate to scrapbook.com from Pocono Pam. Hey Pam, thank you so much. That was very generous of you to send that to me. And I just wanted to share with you what I picked out. So again, it was from scrapbook.com. I'm not sure if you've ever um, ordered from them. Um, I pre-opened the box, but I haven't opened up to look exactly what's inside. So it looks like they put a little news flyer in here with some of their sales and stuff. And look, there's a coupon code, $5 off of 40 And there's the code. And it's good till October 31st. So check that out. I do like ordering th from them. I have um, ordered from them in the past. Um, and they have very good customer service. And it got here fairly quickly. So give them a look. And they do have a, a wonderful um, website with a, a great gallery and then some chats and stuff as well. So check out their site. Okay, there's the packing slip. And inside everything is in this cute little bag. So I had a hard time figuring out what I wanted to pick out they had so many neat items and I was waiting for free shipping but then um one of the days that I ordered um what I picked out some of the things I picked out were on sale and it was more than the shipping so I went ahead and, and picked what I got I think it was the vintage sale so the, one of the first things I picked up was this Teresa Collins vintage fine set I just loved this bingo card I had to have it because then you can change the sentiment up here and of course I love these as well so I hadn't seen this before and again it was vin vintage finds stamp number one by Teresa Collins and I knew I'd get a lot of use out of that that's really cute remember this it's like a little vintage clock very cute so had to have that one and I bought a lot of stamps there were some dies I was thinking about but then when I saw some of the stamps um, I'd seen this in someone else's haul video, and again, I guess there's a little bingo theme going on, but I loved them. I thought they would be cute for mini albums. It says love, journey, believe, memory, explore, imagine, treasure, cherish, and of course a little number strip. And this is by Kaiser Craft, and it's called Mismatch Bingo Cards. So I love that. I thought that was cute. Another Kaiser Craft set that I picked up was this one, Madame Boutique. I loved the doily, and I loved this image. Thought that I don't have anything like that, so I thought that would be fun to work with. So, picked that one up. And one of the other ones that I picked up from Kaiser Craft, Bonjour. I just loved the Eiffel Tower, and I love this little frame, and I love the bird, too. I thought she'd be a lot of fun to color in. Cute butterflies. So I got that one. Then I picked up this Dear Lizzie stamp. I love the camera and the little best wishes and banner. Um, this one's called, don't see a name on it. No, it doesn't have a name, but it's by Dear Lizzie. And there's the numbers. But thought that was cute. And I had to have this one when I saw another Dear Lizzie stamp. It has thanks a bunch and has a cute little jar. It has summer. And I thought that was really, really cute. So I had to have that one. Again, there's no name. I don't like it when they don't put the name. It's so much easier to search for without the name. I mean, with the name. This is a, a Prima stamp. I really like this one. I think these were only like a dollar fifty or something. Um, and I thought these would be great to have as sentiments. This one's called Zephyr. I thought that was cute. Pick that one up. And again, I picked this Kaiser Craft. Vintage Love Stamp. It's got the little collage type stamp with the bicycle and the bingo card. I thought that'd be a lot of fun. Making tags. It's called Vintage Love. And they weren't that expensive. Um, this is Lady Jude. Uh, again, I didn't have anything like this. So I thought that'd be fun to do some tags and stuff with. I thought that was really cute. So Lady Jude. Cute. And then the last stamp set that I got is the Hero Arts basic gray stamp set and I thought it was really really cute um here's what's inside I thought this was really really cute and then of course I love the tag so let me open up and show you just have to rip the backing 
I don't like ripping the packaging. I don't know how you guys are, but I don't like having to rip it. That, they don't give me any excuse, any other way to get into it that I see without going full force. So here's the... The back so you guys can see. I just love that. I thought that'd be a lot of fun to work with, and I like to say cheese and a dollar per hug. I thought that was really cute. So I thought this would be good on cards and minis, and of course, scrapbook pages. So that's what I picked up. So check out scrapbook.com. And again, Pam, thank you so much for sending me that. That was overly generous of you to send that to me, and I greatly appreciate that. But I also want to share with you a couple things I picked up from Michaels. And my room is a total disaster, but I was there um, this past Saturday. I picked up a few things. I had a gift card to use there, and a couple things that I picked up that were on clearance and on sale. Um, looks like they have a 15% off entire purchase and sale going on until the 3rd. Of course, they have some bonus coupons. They put that in my bag. So check that out. I'm sure you can get that coupon online as well. Um, two things that I picked up, the So Easies. These were both on clearance for like $1.49 and $1.29, I believe. And I didn't have these two. This is the banner and this is the hem stitch. So I like to get those things. It was weird. Those two were on clearance, but none of the others were. And of course, all their stamps were on sale. So I picked up a few of those. I just loved... This creepy little Valentine, I mean it's Valentine, vampire that uh, looks like he's sneaking off to do something. And I thought the little bat with the cute little kooky eyes, I thought he was cute. So I got that one. And then I picked this one up for the sentiments. I knew I'd get a lot of use out of that. And I like this one that says, if the broom fits, fly it. I thought that was cute. And then I saw these and I hemmed and hauled. I really, really, really liked her. I um, thought she was cute. It's called Kitty Candy Kiddo by Stan Pendis. I hope it focuses. Nope. Um, but I thought she was a, a perfect image for a card. And I saw in somebody else's haul video, they got this one and then another version of her, which mine only had this one. So I'm going to have to go to another Michaels because I thought the other one was cute too that they picked up. So it's a nice size stamp. And the other one that I picked up was this owl. I thought he was really cute. I love that he was wearing a hat and the clock. And this one is called Steampunk Owl by Stampendous. So, and all these were, I think, 40, I think they were 40% off. So that's what I got at Michael's. But while I was also there, I picked up this little paper mache house, and I have an idea to make a mini out of this. Um, I'm going to um, alter the outside, and then on the inside, I'm going to put a mini, make like a little family mini um, album to put inside. So um, get started on that sometime soon. So all these little projects are, are piling up. I think that's all that I picked up. Um, oh, I did want to share. I've been seeing a lot of people picked up things from TJ Maxx and Marshalls. And I did. I swung by Saturday as I was going to Michael's and picked up two punches. But I want to warn you. Um, I picked up both of these. This one is the Garland Spiderweb and the Garland Pumpkin. Um, <clears throat> I picked them up and both of them will not work. So for those of you that are heading out and picking up a lot of these, I've seen a ton of haul videos with these. Make sure your punches work. These do not punch clearly, and I'll show you. Let me dig out. Um, they would not punch out. They will not. And this is the thinnest of thinnest uh, paper, and as you can see, it will not punch. I have messed and messed, and see that one didn't even, can't even pop that one out. Um, so be Beware. See, that one won't either. Um, one of my others did not. The little pumpkin face. Um, one that I picked up. I finally got that one to punch. This one. Um, it kept jamming over here. Um, so I was a bit, bit disappointed that these wouldn't. I may try messing with them again later today. But make sure, ladies, that before you throw your packaging away, punch them. And what I do is I make a strip and I put them in my book. Um, so that I can keep, um, a list. I'll show you. That's why I was punching them as I was taking them out of the packaging. Because this is like my little binder of things. So I like to punch my punches out and then write down ones that I have. And, um, 
as I was taking them out of the packaging, I was taking some of my scrap paper and punching them. That's how I discovered it. Otherwise, I wouldn't have discovered it for quite a while. I did see this one and this one um, on clearance. I got those last year. Um, but again, check, make sure your punches are working. All my Martha Stewart ones that I've picked up recently all work. But something about the EK Success, this is... Um, two of them that I've purchased and one of the others that I purchased not long ago and I need to return it I haven't is the butterfly I've bought this two or three different times and it will not punch the third butterfly so I really need to contact the company because it's been so while I had left this in the packaging and um, lesson learned so as soon as I got these I opened them up so make sure you guys check out your punches before you um, get rid of the packaging so that you can return them and hopefully um, I don't think they'll have these. They only had like one of each. This was from Mar both of these are from Marshalls. So, hope you guys are all having a great week and I will talk to you later. Bye.